the art department especially feels very, uh, I don't know, it's a very good environment. I feel like I'm challenged every day. I feel great about being part of the art department at UTEP. I think it's great to be an art student at UTEP. I mean, we're here between two countries, Mexico and America, and you get the best of both worlds, and uh, you know, there's a lot of wonderfully creative people, and it's awesome. I love being part of the art department. I really like UTEP, and as an art student, specifically because we're a family, we're really close. It's, uh, it's pretty refreshing to, to work with students and then see them like, getting them very young. And then this is going to sound a little sinister, but like getting them molding them and then seeing their work now being shown and being selected to be part of the show. It's fantastic. It's very creative. I, I'm getting to meet a lot of people. I'm building relationships. And it's very um, invigorating. This is a terrific art department. We have great faculty and great students. And I love the way that they all work together. I just fell in love with the program here because the professors are so talented and then the students are talented as well. So I don't know, like, I feel like I am in a very well rounded um, department. If you study art, ask. This year's student art show is super because it actually made me like painting again. <laughs> There's a lot of different artwork. Even when everybody was submitting, this is the first time I actually get to step up when everybody was submitting. There was a lot of, a lot of good work to be selected out of. This year there's fantastic, fantastic paintings. The exhibition is really great. There's a wide array of uh, media that's really exciting and there's a lot of really good masterful works. I think there's a lot of great um, pieces in the show. I was um, really pleasantly surprised by some of the, the paintings that I saw and I'm really happy to see students working in such a diverse way. I'm very upset that there wasn't enough metal pieces that were submitted, of course because I'm biased towards that a little bit. I'm really excited actually because it's my first time that I had a piece of artwork put into the art show. One of my favorites was uh, this colored pencil work that's just so meticulous. It's called Timeline of Confidence and it's a whole bunch of nouns and interesting expressions. <laughs> if I was selected with three of my graphic design pieces, I'm very excited. The quality of work is very high. Some of the pieces are incredible, really incredible. It's really exciting to get accepted. Um, I remember, I think the first time that I got it was the first time I ever submitted anything, so that was a really amazing feeling. I feel really ecstatic about getting two pieces in because uh, I was, in earlier years in, in my student career, I guess you could say, I was kind of too shy to enter stuff in the show. This was the first year I submitted things and I thought I wasn't going to get anything in, but I'm really happy that I did actually. Some beautiful paintings in the show. And of course some excellent graphic design. The graphic design is always excellent. That everybody should enter in as much work as they can and kind of has, have that in the back of their mind when they're making their work throughout the year. So that way people can, you know, a broader audience can see it, not just their peers. Well, it's just very exciting and I'm very honored that my work has gone in here. To be able to get um, my piece submitted on the first try is amazing. It was really conceptually really strong. I loved it. Que, que no esperaba ver, o sea, de que las instalaciones, por ejemplo, eso se me hizo muy interesante. 
este, siento que hay algo para todos los gustos aparte y me gustó que incorporaron parte también de lo del centenario, ¿no? o sea que es como que, como que algo grande ahorita y también lo metieron también aquí en el departamento de Well, the centennial anniversary is really exciting because you get to see a lot of alumni, you get to celebrate UTEP and all, and all of its accomplishments. I feel very, I think, lucky and overwhelmed. Well, I was an undergraduate here about 50 years ago, so I've been here half of the time that the university has been here. Uh, pretty cool because not, not a lot of people get to be part of it, so I feel a lot of pride for it. It's pretty incredible that I mean, I guess it's exciting to think that I was able to be a student during the time when this, when UTEP has gotten to this point right now. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on just because of the Centennial, and I feel like it's important for us um, as students in the art department to be more exposed, and I feel like right now the, it is being done. I've seen the department, the art department grow, and also the university, how it's been developing itself. I'm proud because I'm, I think I'm, I'm here at the right moment. I feel excited actually with the centennial year coming up, as well as being part of the communication, as well as a fine arts major person. So I kind of get basically a little bit of everything. Obviously, I'm pretty committed to, uh, to being a part of the centennial. We're excited to be a part of the Centennial Open House that's happening on April 10th. Um, and we're going to be working along with the Department of Art and the Rubin Center to create opportunities for people to connect with the Rubin Center and the student show and the 10 Squared project, as well as um, the studios and the students also sort of working.